Okay, so I'm at Synergy and I'm gonna meet Jason, Dr. Jason. Oh, hey Jesse, you're here. Uh, why don't we take some time and give you a warm up and cool down for your long bike ride? Yes, please. Come on back. Hey, thanks, Jess. Yeah. So, I don't know much about you or much <laughs> about what physiotherapy is, yeah. but. Uh, here, tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I get that question a lot, Jesse, and, and that's because physiotherapy can mean a lot of things. Uh, for me as a practitioner, I'm an orthopedic physiotherapist, so it means I deal with sprains and strains, bones, ligaments, tendons, muscles. Uh, I deal with a lot of rehabilitation, so that's if you have an injury, how do we rehabilitate from that so that you get back to where you were before the injury? I also deal a lot with sport performance, so people without injury, but they want to take it to another level. And how do they do that? So that's a lot of what I do here at Synergy. Awesome, I look forward to whatever you're gonna show me. Yeah, a warm up and cool down. So a warm up to get you ready for your bike. Okay. And a cool down to make sure you don't tighten up afterwards. Awesome. Yeah, I've got a couple things in mind. Okay, can't wait to get started. Awesome. Okay, so first we should start with a warm up. Okay. And we've decided to do the, the world's best stretch. Okay. Something really good for stretching of the legs, uh, get a little bit of thoracic spine mobility and get you prepped for getting on that bike. Okay, so world's best stretch, really good for getting the hip flexors and the hamstrings going. And then we're gonna add a little twist in there to get the mid back moving, because you're gonna be hunched over on your bike. So to start out, you're in a nice lunge position, back knee is straight, toes pointed forward. Then I want you to sink down towards the ground with your hands, back knee straight, and you should feel a good stretch in through the back leg as well as the front. Sink into that for 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, I want you to keep this in hand planted. Rotate up towards the ceiling and fall out with your eyes. And repeat that between three to five times, depending on how tight you feel that particular day. Think you got that? that was, yeah, I think I got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so nice lunge position. Good. Back knee straight. Hands are straight in the center. Okay. Good. I want you to put both hands on the ground. Good. Good. Back knee straight. You feel a stretch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Good. So just sink into that. If this is too much, you can always get a block under your hands. Okay. Just to lift you up a bit. So after about 10 seconds, keeping that left hand planted. Yeah, follow up with your eyes. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Good, and come back. Repeat it. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so now the other side, right? Yeah, other side. Yeah, so trail leg, knee is straight, good. Mm -hmm. Sinking down with your hands. Practice, doesn't it? Yeah. You're doing good for first time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fallen over yet. <laughs> Your low cam is up there. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Okay, so 90 90 hip mobility. Work on stretching out the glutes and making sure the hips don't stiffen up after your long ride. So, for the setup, I want you to think about your knee and your chest to begin with, okay? So your leading knee, that's in line with your chest. Then I want you to take your fingers on this hand, point them back behind you. Okay. And try to get in a nice upright position. I got a 90 degree angle at my knee here, 90 degree angle at my knee here. Keeping my back and spine straight, 
I start to hinge through the hips and bring my chest towards my knee. And you'll feel a really good stretch in the hip on this side. Hold for 30 seconds on one side. Okay. Let's say 30 seconds has gone by. Then you switch to the other side. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I definitely look forward to this one. Yeah. Like this. Kind of like this. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That's a great setup. Now I want your fingers on your right hand pointing backwards. Okay. Good. Make your chest nice and upright. Yeah. Good. Now keeping your spine straight. I you want you to hinge at the hips and bring your chest towards your knee. Oh, wow. Yeah, you should feel good stretch coming in through that <laughs> yeah. right side. You're yeah. getting it on the left. I'm getting it on the left. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's like the left hips. The left hips. <laughs> good. Are you getting anything into there? No, not really. No. Okay. Maybe. So is it, do I need to maybe adjust? Yeah, try to adjust a little bit. So, kind of like, so. Right there. And then. Yeah, chest to, to me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're getting it in the right hip now? Oh, yeah. I'm still getting it in my hip. You are? Can yeah. You switch sides, see if the sensation is different. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't expect to get it on that side. Yeah. So it's this. So it's like this. And then it's like yeah, this. Yeah, it's a nice 90-90. Yeah, okay. fingers pointing backwards on that left side. And then... Those are tight hips, Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tight. that's what Jamie said too. Jamie's just like, yeah, you need to talk to physio. I was like, okay. <laughs> He's just like, you have really, really tight hips. I'm like, okay, I guess I, guess I need to talk to physio. <laughs>